Hello everybody and welcome back to Shro Plays Pokemon Ultra Moon. Let's get started with our game. First I want to thank God and I want to thank you all for your support. So let's get started on our second episode, shall we? So last time we picked off where there was a door knock. There was a knock on the door. I said door knock. Whoa. Professor Kukui. So is Professor Kukui, guys. Hey there, Shrill. It's about time we set out for a festival. But first, I got something to teach you. Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, it's the most basics of all basics. Come on to Route 1. Alright, so let's go to Route 1. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here, you'll see. Alright, so let's go to Route 1. So it's finally day, as you guys can see. Sure, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend that you're, you're a Pokemon using your agility. Oh, wow, that's that's funny. Alright, let's show, sure, use agility. <laughs> I'm using agility right now. So now we go here. Remember last episode when I was hesitant to come here? Now we come here. Yeah, over here. So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out of you in the tall grass. Now that we all, you got your wallet there, you can not only fight with wild Pokemon, but you can also try to catch them. I'm going to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon. I, I rain Okay. I already know how to catch a wild Pokemon, but I mean, sure, let's just go with the flow. Oh, that's the Grubbin. So, yeah, um, I, I remember, I, there was something I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I want to tell you guys my team in the prequel games and Su Pokemon Sun and Moon. And my team was, it was the Rowlet, it was the Rock Rafite. That you see right now was also the bug type that he's battling against, and it was, it was, it was, it was a uh, that parrot too, Trumbeak I think it was called. I don't know. Um, you'll see them later. And then it was Galissapod, I think that's the name, Water and Bug type. And then it was the Dragon type with the scales on it. So yeah, uh, you probably don't know anything I'm talking about, but. I'm probably gonna get the same team, so I'm probably gonna get the same team, so I'll, I'll, you guys will see. All right, I got myself a Grubbin. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be great a great help to you. And if your Pokemon get all took it out, you can always head home and rest up a bit. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Yeah, so. We get some Pokeballs and Potions. Might catch some Pokemon on this route. That's sweet. Why don't you have a little adventure of yours to Iki Town? Take good care of Rowlet Show. I think that's what he said. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's get started. Um, Hold on, let me explore my bag a little bit. Oh, look this. Okay. Alright, so we have 10 Pokeballs and 5 potions. Let's make our way to Iki Town like was told of us. And we reach another battle yet. Hmm, should I catch him now? Guys, guys, should I should I catch him? I'm wondering. No, I don't want to catch him yet. I don't I don't I don't want to catch him yet. Okay, so let's Take him with tackle, cause I don't think grass is that effective on uh, bug. Cause as some of you might know, bug is good against grass, at least most of the time. So, um, yeah. All right, so let's let's use growl to lower his defense, and yeah, let's do that. Rando, use growl. Use fight script on me. 
Oh wait, no, it's to lower his attack. Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, that's good for us too. Not gonna lie, it's kind of strong Pokemon right now. So yeah, I I one thing I noticed that last episode was really long. Last episode was really long, and I just want to you know kind of apologize for that. You know, usually the first episodes will be longer than usual. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to keep this one a little shorter. So yeah, you guys want to go through that. Um, wow, look at the sea, such a beautiful view, and yet another Pokeball. Uh, come on! You were about to leave the grass, and yet, okay. Okay, so, what will Randall do? Another Randall? Sorry, I'm gonna go through this. I'm just gonna You know what? If I run into another Grubbin, I'm, I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. Because why not? Oh, I heard a bird song. Who was that? Alright. Uh-oh. Here we go, our first trainer battle. Let's do this. Yeah. When the eyes of a trainer meet, you know it's a Pokemon battle. Bring it on. Oh wait, shoot! I, I probably should have used a potion. Uh, whatever. She only has one Pokemon. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat her. Come on, let's do it. Last sent out Veneri. Last Audrey. I think that was her name. All right. Um. Come on, we've been using tackles, so let's use leaf fish this time. Pound? Okay, yeah, 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 I, sh I really should have bought a potion. Oh, wait, no, 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 we're good, we're good. Come on, just one more time, leaf fish. Strain is nothing. Strain is, strain is weak. All right, and we level up to level eight. Good job, Rando. And we learned our first flying move, Peck. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty impressive. Also, we earned our first money. You know, we earned like $72, I think. I don't, I, I don't really know the currency in Pokemon, so, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I would like to use this potion on, oh wait, no, that's not our first. We, we had money before, I don't know where we got that from, so. Anyways, let's just continue. Oh, another trainer battle. Oh, that, that bird noise from before. That was that was a wingo. All right. We're at challenge by Youngster Jimmy. Let's do this. Oh, now that we learned a flying move, let's go ahead with Peck. See how that looks like. Oh, wow. We defeated him in one move. We're really strong at this point. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't want to brag, but, like, me and Randall are really strong at this point. That's a good thing. Uh, it's worth risking trying to collect every good item I can find. A Pichu? I should I should get that. That That's rare. I'm not going to have it on my main team, though. I'm going to put it in my PC. Hold on, let's... Let's have a higher chance of getting it with a growl. Okay. Uh, no. How do I access the... Alright, there we go. Go, Pokeball. Pichu, you're mine. Yes! And we caught our first other, like our second Pokemon in our team. I'm not, I don't want to make it on my official team though. I just want to get it because it's rare. But yeah, Pichu, we got you, man. It's pretty great. Yeah, I like to give it a nickname. Name it Pyrrha. Something like that.
Okay, so I I decided to name it Pira. That's because that's that's not a bad name, right? All right, let's get this. Hopefully, we don't run into another Pokemon. Let's swear. Yes. Eki Town, here I come. I wonder what that is. Wait, what? What is that? Stare at it. Oh, uh, we made it happy. Uh, let's let's wave goodbye. All right, I'll play with you later. It was fun. Oh, you're not gonna bow me? You're cool for that. Wow, Oz, oh, Oz, oh, it's following me. A good boy. Oh shoot! The festival. All right, let's let's go there then. Uh, looks like this is our last battle before Iggy Town. Once again, I like the music. I'm not gonna lie, these trains are kind of weak, but let's do this. Uh, he looks so sad. Poor kid. Should get stronger if you want to be on these routes. Whoa, what's this? Whoa. Measuring the R's up here. Hmm, what was that? Did he say something? I was well. I was certainly not distracted by his foolish display of festivity. So these are aura readings in this place. Perhaps it may be the effects of the one that they call the Anikahula. But everything here is so bright here in Alola. Far brighter than we had been told it would be. I find it loathsome, this also brightness. Even though this is the light we've sought for so long. Yes. Yes, I support you. Suppose you're right. We must carry out our investigations to return to the light of our own world as well before the blinding one can awaken. I hope you guys know that I'm like watching you talk. Oh, they know. You. You're not a native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from far away. That's true. Wow, very mysterious team. Not gonna lie. I like the look of their suits. It's kind of mysterious and stuff like that. Oh, very interesting. So I should never run in tall grass. I think I should run away, but like, you know, let's let's train our let's train our Pokemon. Too easy. Whoa, I hear that drum beat. Whoa, it's the festival. Oh, I'm getting tired of these battles. Well, here's a stronger tackle. Yes. All right, let's go see what this festival is all about. Let's go. This is the jumpy we heard earlier. 
Whoa! Wow, this is a really nice scenery. Hey, Kunala. Can you give me back my... <laughs> Let's have patience. The lower region is made up of four islands. Each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to those great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but this is just a little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us goes here all out. All right, this is that's pretty, pretty nice place. Let's go talk to Hal. How's it, Shrill? Man, I never thought you'd make it. Me and Pog, we have been waiting for ages. <laughs> Hold on, didn't you explain anything that? Didn't we explain anything to you about tonight? Oh, hi, Lily. Right on time. What to what exactly? Uh, Chubby Maker Nelly, maybe sorry. A full powered festival of for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in a friendly competition to please our guardian. So you two will be taking part in the battle. I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one one another since they often end up getting a poke hurt. But I'll be sure to watch you two. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show the same care in return, Shiro. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Thank you so much. That's really helpful. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Yeah, let's do this. Then let's begin. All right, how I'm gonna beat you. For our life on our islands. For those who undertake the island challenge with the joy in their hearts. We pray for your protection for them and all of Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our guardians, Island Guardians Daddy, Tapu Koko. Before you stands, how? Grandson to the Kahuna. Guys, applaud for him. <laughs> Let's have fun with this, Paplio. And before him stands, show the one who has met Tapu Koko. Yeah, guys, the winner is here. I'm going to win. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, that's just typical of it. Mom, Rowan, take care of my little show. And Dog and we both have a good time. I think we can call it a great battle. <laughs> I just stay silent. Show, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Let's do this. We beat you once, how? And we're going to beat you twice. You are challenged by the Pokemon trader, how? Oh, he sent out Pichu, the Pokemon we caught earlier. Go, Rando. Let's do this. Now, this is an important battle. Let's let's start off with Tackle. Oh, he has two Pokemon. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's super effective. Come on. Tackle, go. Ah, uh, no. This is bad. Shoot. Uh, use leafage. I like how in these games, they tell you if the moves are very effective or not in the bottom of the screen. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Come on. Rando, I believe in you. Can't believe we're suffering already. Don't let the small little guy beat you. Uh, do I have a... Dang. I don't have any... Oh, I have a Paralyzed Heal. Since when did I get that? Probably one of the items I picked up. All right. This time let's use Leafage. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, I thought it was going to fall in love with it. Our attack fell. But our special attack didn't. Yeah, something about the stats. Uh, The differences between... Physical attacks, you know, special attacks. God talk to you guys about that one day if you don't know about it. Once again, we're paralyzed, which isn't good news. But I believe in Rando. He's strong. And we beat House first Pokemon is level 6 Pichu. And we are going on to level 9. We are still paralyzed, even though 
we use the paralyzed heal. But we will beat him. Yes, especially that's Poplio. Keep him. I don't want Pyro to get destroyed and hurt. Okay. Come on, let's do this. No, 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 no. No. I accidentally used Growl. I, I guess it's good in a way, but I meant to use Leafage. Alright, you know what? Leafage this time. There we go. I didn't do it on accident. Let's do this. It's ignoring the paralysis. That's my rando. So only doing that effect. Let's try that again. Keep on knowing that attack. I'm still gonna beat you. That's right. Ignore the paralysis. Ignore the paralysis. Keep on using leafage and ignore the paralysis. Can't wait to see which other moves Randall will learn. Come on. Alright, if we get hit one more time, I'm gonna use a potion. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Alright, great. Great. Yes! This battle was actually harder than I thought. You gotten stronger, Hal. You got me to low yellow life, but I still beat you. Good, 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 good match, though. Finally, got an uh, applause. Phew, that was awesome, Cheryl. That was a really great battle, and I had a blast fighting you. I had a blast fighting you, too. You got stronger, bro. It was a good battle, even with this Tapu Koko. Oh, Tapu Koko's here. You heard it yourself. Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Sure, I think it's time you take this. Oh, is he giving me back my... Yes, he gave it back to me. My Sea Power Ring. Yes, I can't wait to use the Sea Crystals on that. Your Sea Power Ring is a mysterious armband that can draw the power that lies deep within Pokemon. And can bring forth the Sea Power. We can make Sea Power Rings using stones like the Sparking Stone that you received from pa Tapu Koko. Though you will need to undergo the island challenge and collect sea crystals for yourself. If you wish to draw out the Pokemon Seek Power. Yes, sea crystals. I can't wait to collect them. And yet, you have already received the sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko quite took, took quite a liking to you. Or perhaps it has a mission for you. Well, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. Yes, I'm so excited. I can't wait to start my island challenge. You will visit every, every island. Maybe you'll figure out what the mission is. Every island. Four islands. You will travel four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The, the island challenge champion. Let's do this. Sounds great. I can't wait to have a real adventure. I bet... I'll, I'll let Kahua Hala explain the details. The Iron Challenge Kukui spoke up. I think we got it already, but I mean, sure. It is a journey to overcome your own limitations as you travel the fire corners of Alola and meet along with others in the past. It is a great adventure that children in the Alola region embark upon along with their Pokemon once they reach 11 years of age. Oh, that's interesting. They provide the age. Of course, I'm older than 11 by now. But yeah. Allow me to give you both the Island Challenge amulets that you will need. Awesome. Thanks, Tutu. I'm going to make it through the Island Challenge and try to become the Island Challenge Champion. There's one for you as well, Tro. Please do get the Island Challenge a try. Alright! We are ta currently taking the Island Challenge. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, doing the Iron Challenge is the best way to really get to know Alola well. That was really nice. Oh, what's up, Lily? Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? I hope we can meet again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Phew! Me too. It saved you well, didn't it? And he left you with that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to his place. I suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? Yeah, it's time to go home. Nabi, Alola's 
with all kinds of wonders, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really excited to explore this region, beat the Iron Trials and stuff. Captain, I was able to detect high levels of aura at this full power festival. I suppose you would. According to our early research, it seems that the sea power ring is the Tapu Koko creature. Our base in a great deal of light. A little overflows with the light that was released by the blinding one. I find myself rather envious. I wonder if we can find some way to use the great power that fills Alola for ourselves. That's precisely what we need. The ultra rock and strong are here to make it clear. Onward, there is still much more of Alola we have not seen, and we must investigate it all. Wow. So they're called the Ultra Reckon Squad. That's that's really interesting. Oh, Shrill, you're back already? I thought you wanted to stay in Inky Town longer. I actually wanted to go explore and talk to the people, but I mean, sure. Especially right after the great Pokemon battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his partner. Maybe it would be such a good idea for you to try the Ash I am challenging. Yeah, I would. It's something you could only do in Alola, right? Yeah, every other every other region has um gym badges, but right now I got a, a date with my bed. I danced the feet off at that festival. Night, night, sweetie. You got some sleep too. All right. Wow, that's that's refreshing. The next day. What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. A doorbell again? A visitor. If it's Kukui, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. Well, guys, I think once again we should stop here. It, will, it this, this episode was really unique. I know it was actually pretty fun. You know, battling with how, visiting new trainers, and stuff like that. Um, Before I leave, I just want to talk to you guys about something really quick. You see those, uh, you might notice there are some blue things on the side of the screen. Those will be showing the team I get and the sea crystals I'll earth throughout my journey here in Alola. So I just want to inform you guys about that. And once again, this episode was a blast. Episode 2. Tune in for episode 3. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time. When I continue my Lola region adventure, goodbye.